this is the first, I don't know, I don't know if I would consider this a bathing suit. I personally wouldn't. I really like this, like the top. I think it's really, really cute. The only like concern that I have, I don't know. I'm trying to not really show this. It stops very down below. Like, it shows a lot of the down there region. The white that goes underneath gets cut off. And in the same spot, it gets cut off the back, which I'm not gonna really show you guys, but you can literally see my ass. That's better. <laughs> so, like you can see my crack going down because of this that you can literally see just the line and I'm not going to show you because why would I do that? This is the second. I love this. Like I love this so much. The downside is that there's no like tightening. Like you can't tighten this and you can't tighten this. Like this is all one and this is just kind of like a tie on there. But this is really really cute. I really like this because I feel like a lot of my bathing suits like come up really high and I get really bad tan lines. I feel like this bathing suit is like the perfect amount of showage. It's not like too much, and I don't think these are really cheeky. I think these are perfect. This is definitely my favorite. I mean, it's the second one I've tried on, but this is definitely like better than the first one. I love this bathing suit, and I am definitely gonna wear this at the beach, 100%. Okay, I don't really like the bottoms. They're really small, and they're not like, high-waisted or anything. I think like right now high-waisted are just kind of like in. I just like them a lot better than like low-waisted. I love the top though. This is absolutely like stunning. Like I love, love, love this shirt. So I'm gonna definitely wear this with like white bottoms. I mean it matches white. I could even wear like navy blue bottoms maybe. Maybe not. Okay, this goes in the back like this. This is so Oh my god, this is awesome quality. Oh my god, I'm so excited to try this on. Especially because the butt like doesn't look very cheeky. It looks like perfect. And it comes with straps too, because I think it's yeah, it's strapless. So that's awesome too if you want to like go swimming. This bathing suit, oh my god. I absolutely love this. This is so stunning. This is oh my god. I love it. I love this bathing suit. I would suggest you having someone tie this for you. Mine's like kind of a little loose because I couldn't like tie it. I got to tie it. This is so cute. I love this bathing suit. It's awesome that it comes with straps as well. But I think it's just like a really, really, really cute bathing suit. Like this is really cute. I feel like. Sometimes it's hard to have like a really cute full piece or one piece and this is cute. This is another full suit. <laughs> oh my god. I think I'm just gonna have to try this one on and figure it out when I put it on maybe. I'm not really sure. What the f- Okay, well, um, well, this took me like a hot minute to put on and I don't like it. I don't know if it was really, I don't know if this is on right or what. Looking at the picture and I don't think I did it right. I don't know if I just didn't do it right or I'm just like comparing like, like maybe it's just my body style and that's why it looks a little different. But, but I don't know how I feel about this one. I just don't feel like it's flattering. Maybe leave your guys' reviews in the comments. But I don't, I don't know. I can't really tell if I like this one or not. It's very interesting. First up from Princess Polly, I got, it's like probably gonna make the lighting go weird, um, but it's like neon orange and the bottoms are high-waisted and then the top is just a tube top. And they have, um, I don't think they have this color anymore on the site, but they have tons of other colors. If you like the style of this, definitely check them out. I will say they are a bit thin. I did get a size small. Next up, I got this top from Vitamin A somewhere. The standard Nutra 
bralette top and I just wanted one that was like really good fitting um, that I could kind of just throw on and not think about it. So that was this one. And then um, in the try on clip, I am pairing that with these bikini bottoms from EPV Swim. And their bikini bottoms are my favorite cut of bikini bottoms. They're super cheeky, but they're not like... Um, like the Brazilian cut, they're like thick on the sides. They're not a size medium for reference. You definitely want to size up in these because they are pretty teeny. From EPV, I also got these bottoms, which are like the split um, color blocking. Again, they're like my favorite cut of bottoms, so I just think they like make your butt look really good and they're just really flattering. I got these guys and these are really fun. They're like light blue and they have little bananas all over them. Next up, I got this bandeau top. It's just like a hot pink color with the straps in the back and I really love bandeau tops because they don't give you tan lines, like an extremely small chest, so I don't have have any problem with them coming down or anything. Moving on to my last two swimsuits of this haul. They're from Arc Swimwear. I just think they're so, so flattering and they would give you the best tan lines. So the first one I got is in white and as you can see the bottoms are super, super teensy. These are their cheeky fit. Really small but they I really like the way that they make like my bottom look. And then this is the top. It's just like a triangle top but it really like pushes everything into place small in the bottoms and then extra small on the top and I honestly wish I would have gotten a small on the top but all the girls in the pictures um, on their site had like larger chests than me so I was like oh then extra small yeah I should have just gotten a small because it's a little tight pretty much the same swimsuit in red but these bottoms are their hybrid cut so <laughs> They're even smaller. I love this red color. It's so, so pretty with a tan. I'm so excited to wear it. So I have six bikinis that I bought again with my own money. So basically I'm going to go through each bikini, the price, the shipping, everything like that, the sizing, and then I'll have a little try on haul. Try on haul, try on clip. And not too much because I'm not ready to be my bikini on YouTube. All of the bikinis I have will be linked below. First bikini is this snake skin one so I'll show you guys a photo of what it's supposed to look like and all of that stuff so this one's one of those like <sighs> one those like bikinis on your like upper hip I actually really like the way these bottoms fit the only thing is I wish these were a little bit like smaller or just because it's double lined but it's not like stuck together so it's just a little bit like frumpy do you know what I mean <coughs> You know when like all the air goes from your throat? Oh my gosh, that was kind of scary. Yeah, I feel like they're just a little bit like frumpy, but they are really nice. I don't know whether I'd wear them to the beach because I'm worried they'd fall down, but maybe I'll do like a water test. Not in this video because that's a bit weird, but I would love this set if this top was a little bit bigger. Now, I don't have like huge boobs, definitely not, but my boobs do not fit in this. This is quite small, so like perfect for someone with... I almost wish I got... There's a fly in my room. That's gonna annoy some of you. Oh gosh. Oh, what was I saying? I actually have forgotten. This is only about £10 and I use a Zaffel discount code. So with this one, I would say the top is a lot smaller than the bottoms. So maybe I would get a medium so I get a bigger top and a small for the bottoms. But no one really wants to buy two bikinis. Kind of wish you could choose a size of the top and bottom. But I suppose you get what you pay for with these bikinis. Like, they're super cheap. But yeah, the quality is okay. They're really flattering, like, on a bum. They're quite, like, thongy, like, as you can see. Right, next one is also too small so I'm going to show you now love these bottoms you'll have seen the mm, yeah you'll have seen these on my insta so they're this neon pink oh what doesn't even look neon hold on right they're that color they're that color I'm going to turn the exposure up again but I'm just going to show you the color hold on. so they're like is this the other ones like that so they're like thin here and they like come up I mean they are very small as you can see I'm not sure if I can put that on the internet <laughs> quite thongy on the bum they sit really nicely but they are very 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 small down there so it depends what you're comfortable with this is more of just like a tanning bikini for me more of an insta bikini you wouldn't really be walking around in this on holiday but if that's what you fancy then that's totally okay it's like this super small too small for me as well like this one's actually tiny so any of my small boobed friends if you want this you can but all of my friends have big boobs so that literally all of them do oh well very cute i like this a lot yeah again i would size up a little bit but then i suppose i just automatically choose small because i assume they'll be quite big maybe i should have got medium in this i don't know it's kind of hard to like guess these ones like so i'd give this bikini a no probably just because it's quite small for me and i worry that it'd be quite see-through when 
when it goes in water but it's up to you guys if you want to you know do that so next bikini same color this is a bandeau bikini now this is actually super cute i wanted a bandeau for my tan line if you guys are friends with me you know i'm like obsessed about not getting tan lines and getting a tan but this is what it looks like it's actually like um uh What's that called? Like it looks like it's cord, but it's obviously not cord. Um, and then it's got this detail on the back, which is super cute. So that is the top. These kind of give me a sausage boob. It's actually not my favourite look. Not gonna lie, I feel like like my boobs are almost a bit too big for this, which is weird because like I never have that problem. And then these are the bottoms. I actually really, really like these bottoms. And they look super small, but they're not too bad on, actually. And the bum's got a little bit more coverage, coverage, which is really nice. So, really like this set, actually. I do worry that this might be a little bit see-through, but it's more for photos. So, or like, not photos, but, you know, like, a loungy bikini. So, I feel like it'd be, you know, if you want to try that out, I would, I would recommend it, almost. Okay, the next bikini is this one, which I love. It's, like, cow print. Absolutely absolutely love this my only problem how you can adjust it well this one it's sewn on which is so annoying because it means you can't adjust the bikini and it just fits really weird um and the top is just like really quite big and i quite like having a why am i putting it on like, i don't know what i'm doing um i quite like having like a smaller bikini top just because it's more flattering whereas this is like too big for me almost like I don't know. Also, the cups are just like literal circles, so again, not very flattering. But I love this cow print. Like, this would look sick as a bralette under a top or something. Love it. It's just a real shame that this is like sewn, so you can't adjust it. I'll show you guys on the back kind of what I mean in the try on clip, but yeah, it is really annoying. Um, and then the bottoms are actually a lot thicker, which I'm glad about. These are double lined, and these are super flattering. They're like those ones that kind of come up a bit flattering on the bum, but I much prefer these to these ones which I'll show you in a second but they're super small um, but yeah I do really actually like these bottom ones so I wish the top was a bit smaller again it's annoying it's that like too big on the top too small on the bottom or the other way around it's kind of a bit annoying so this is like this is actually spotty it kind of is supposed to be like left but it's basically spotty if you think about it so cute again same problem it's um a little bit big but these ones actually you can move the straps so that's really good um I wish they were just like lace on the back lace like around the top rather than like this weird like bra like bra looking bikini like do you know what i mean like you know the ones that just round the neck round the back and it's easy to adjust whereas these are a bit i don't know they're a bit annoying a bit big but it is cute i really hope i can actually get use out of this this summer um but yeah we'll see you guys can make up your mind about how your body shape is and how this would fit you and everything like that obviously yourself but the bottoms are a lot smaller I'm not sure i'm going to be showing this online um, like as you can see that's the front whereas for these ones the front is like wider does that make sense i can't really hold both at once there you go can you see the difference so it just depends what you're comfortable with and then the final bikini is exactly the same as that one it's just this cute like yellowy leopard print all of these are going to be incredible for photo for photos at least i'll get some good instas um but yeah these i love this leopard print it's actually really really cute i'm kind of annoyed that the top is just so big but i'm sure i'll try wear it i also i took the padding out of this one and this one just to see what it looks like but yeah um I actually do really like this. It's just annoying about the bikini top and also um, this one. Oh, wait, no, this one's not sewn, so that's good, actually. But, yeah, it's just, like, a case of hit or miss. So, quickly discussing, like, prices, everything like that. Each bikini set was about £12, and then I got, like, some 10% or 20% off discount, which made them, like, £10 each. So, altogether, it cost me £60 without shipping. Um, so, that is actually really, really inexpensive. Like, £10 for a bikini is really good. But if you think think the price like say i have this h&m one um and it was probably like 20 pound for the set but it's such good quality like this will last me forever and the bottoms fit so nicely so it kind of depends what you want it for if you're swimming like you know proper lays and everything they're not really the bikinis for you I mean that's kind of a given but yeah the shipping took two weeks so i'm pretty sure it was like two weeks on the dot so i was expecting it to be a month so i think that was okay um again it's coming from 
I don't even know where these bikinis are coming from, but they're definitely not from the UK. So, um, well, Zaffold isn't a UK based website, so it is going to take a little bit longer. That is a given, and everyone does kind of warn you. The quality isn't like incredible, it's not impeccable, as I said, and the sizings are a little bit off, so it's definitely just a hit or miss website. Like, I was impressed because half of them I did like on, but also, like, they're just annoying things. Sorry, there's wind right now, you can probably hear the wind. Yeah, like, I wasn't super disappointed, but I was wasn't shocked. One really good thing though is they come in like little Ziploc bags which I think is so cute and it's just like a little nice touch so I do appreciate that but I feel like I have a lot of good quality bikinis like this H&M one that like I'd be more willing to pay money for. Do you know what I mean? So yeah it's definitely up to you guys. Maybe if you guys have ordered from them let me know in the comments what you think of them, your honest opinion like as I said. Overall I would say it's like a for Zaffle, like not yes, not no, it's hit or miss and every bikini is super different so look at reviews on sizings, check measurements, everything like that and then I feel like that will help but I just can't be bothered to check my measurements. Like I have no idea what my measurements are but <laughs> yeah I really hope you guys did enjoy this and I'll see you so soon with a new video. Bye guys! Oh my gosh my voice then. Bye guys!